Okay, we're back on. So here's part two. Hope you guys like that new little tripod slash swivel chair I got <laughs> in the back of the place here. Um, overcoming that depression part two, or how I overcame it or whatever. I, I want to illustrate something else here to you people. Okay. Think about this. The amount of energy that you burn up and the amount of time that you burn up if you don't take the time to actually go and solve deeper problems in your life, this kind of little shit can affect you on every level on your ascension to the top or your descension to the bottom. Either way, the shit can affect you and it, it can throw you off your game. It can affect your work, your friendship, family, relationships, all sorts of shit if you don't take the time to handle it. So if you're ever at a point in your life where you don't really fully understand what the fuck's going on and why people are behaving the way that they do, you need to hit the pause button and just figure shit out before you continue. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I basically I basically isolated myself and pretty much, like, just walked around the fucking house for years. Years on end while I was playing audiobooks and reading these books and whatever. And I will, I will say this one thing about YouTube, though. YouTube can be the absolute devil, the real devil of the world if you were a depressed person because of the uh, algorithm and autoplay. This shit was on like a loop of at least 10 to 12 hours a day playing suggestion after suggestion after suggestion. And it, I found that all the content that I was playing, it had a negative tone to it. So it was like making YouTube was making my fucking depression like worse and worse and worse because every video that came out. Okay, giving you an example here, right, of how the, the YouTube search thing worked or whatever helped me get more fucking depressed and more down this, you know, airplane death spiral or whatever going down. Um, you could go into YouTube, and a lot, a lot of guys actually get started into the, the MGTOW philosophy because of doing what I did, actually. And this is how I got kind of like in that little boat or whatever, too, for a couple years, right? It's like... You could go on YouTube and just type some random shit like, why, what does it mean when a girl do this? Or why is she doing this? Is, what is shit like that? You know, a lot of times YouTube and Google are basically the world's, or at least my personal search engine, where I look for answers for shit. So if you go on YouTube and just Google some shit like, why is this hoe being a hoe? <laughs> basically, in not so many layman's terms or whatever, you're going to get this barrage of videos about all, all hoes ain't shit, this, 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 and this is what's wrong with hoes, and so and so and so, so and all these suggestions like this, right? So, okay, you could imagine me, okay? I actually, I don't know if you guys don't know this shit here, but I don't actually watch TV. I haven't watched TV in probably like fucking like 10 or 15 years unless I'm at somebody else's house. I don't have network TV. I don't really even really fuck with YouTube really unless it's like playing my music or shit like that or podcast, audio, whatever. I don't really, I'm not really like a screen watcher kind of person, right? So what I did is I, I, I do have a Bluetooth speaker in the house and I'd play YouTube on the Bluetooth speaker, right? But of these like shows from people or whatever, right? And, you know, for like 10, 12 hours a day, all that I realized I was hearing was ang basically the voices of angry, frustrated men who have been burned telling their stories, their sob stories about how they lost their house, car, business, wife cheated on them, fucked off, ran off with the kids, did this, did that, now their life's fucked up, and now, you know, fuck that, this, that, and the other, right? So I start hearing all these channels or whatever. All you got to do is just play one of those fucking videos, just one. Any, any dude that's angry or ranting or whatever, and if you're in a really emotional state, you're you're more likely going to click on that, like, damn, that dude looks angry. Let me see what he got to say. Click, you know, whatever. You play that shit, you get 50, your, ne your next 15 videos are going to be more guys like this, clones of this guy. And they may have valuable information to share. And the, here's, here's, here's the, the catch about that shit, though, is like a lot of times... 
while they're delivering this message and it is truth and factual and you probably need to hear a lot of this shit firsthand from people that have actually walked on the fucking coals walked through the flames and gasoline draws or whatever it's definitely useful and you should not turn off your ears to factual information okay but you shouldn't get so inundated and over inundated with the shit that it cripples and handicaps your thinking and leaves you in an even more depressed spiral where you're even more paralyzed or whatever you know what i'm saying it would be like me studying okay black american slavery shadow slavery in the south and wherever all over america wherever black people were slaves or whatever right i could take a scholarly point of view and look at stats and this and that and then I could start listening to like surviving, whatever you want to call them, recordings or whatever of people that lived on the plantation, slaves, sharecroppers and shit like that in real life. And just listen to their voices and hear their, you know, stories of despair and deception and fuckery and shit like that. You know, that's one way to look at it. But I don't think it would benefit me to get caught in the negative spiral there because then I'd start be I'd start feeling angry and that anger costs it's counterproductive basically you know what I'm saying here I am trying basically here I, give me an example here here I am trying to run a little restaurant do a little business here this and that and whatever I can't focus on how bad slavery was four centuries ago not at the moment right now. Maybe after the shop's closed and, you know, after I smoke a joint and chill, I'll be like, man, phew, slavery was fucked up back then. I can't believe, you know, no, 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 no. You know, it's okay to devote a couple minutes of your day to anger and rage and whatever, but it's very counterproductive if you have that shit on loop, like basically brain brainwashing you with podcasts for a dozen hours every day for like pretty much two or three years straight on a lot of people's shit or whatever because it's not healthy for you man it's really not that's that's my take on it you know but the information needs to be heard and you need to hear it at some point but i think that when you're first starting out to seek answers and shit like that you should go slowly before you get sucked into somebody's philosophy or something that you don't really necessarily you know, you're not like a hundred into it or whatever, but you're like, oh, this guy seems like he knows what he's talking about, whatever, whatever, whatever. Not everybody is the same. Your mileage may vary and whatever. But that was my personal experience or whatever. I started looking into all these channels and most of them, by the way, they were what they call the MGTOW MGTOW channels, men going their own way. If you if you've ever been in a relationship and a girl did you wrong, did you dirty, got burned, whatever, and you search for some shit about what happened or whatever more than likely um like MGTOW type of videos will come up where you know guys are they're telling their side of the story yeah and she ran off with this and oh she did that and all women are the same and all that shit whatever right so i just kept hearing this shit over and over in my head while i'm exercising and pacing around the house or whatever for years and years on end just literally walking in circles right that's another way that I actually got through the depression and lost a lot of my weight too. And a lot of people don't know about that shit. But like, yeah, basically, I'm on my feet all fucking day and all night, just walking around doing pull ups, hit cardio, running, smoking weed, shit like that. And I'm not eating anything. I'm just like playing. I'm not watching any TV. I'm not sitting down. I'm not sedentary. I'm literally on my fucking feet in motion from sun up till sundown and more. Right? So. And it don't bother me or whatever. I'm just doing this repetitively while I'm educating myself. You know, whereas most people will watch TV or play music in their house. I am I had a constant, just constant YouTube podcast and shit on right there. So I'm just absorbing content, getting information, and I'm just starting to hear this shit in my sleep. And, you know, when somebody recommends a book, I'll go get it and read it and all that shit. And I really feel like I'm ascending to the... <laughs> getting my answers or whatever and actually my answers didn't come from a lot of that either but it helped or whatever uh for the record i will say that that <laughs> the that migtow philosophy is shit's not for me but i will say that it's some of its tenant some of its principles have saved me 
at the very minimum, I could say that it saves me from getting into a fight with the dude, actually. Uh, I'll, I'll bring that up in a second. I'll talk about that story right now. This this was a couple years ago, like 2000. I'm going to guess it had to be 2017 or 18. Yes, COVID. Yeah, I can't say that word. It's probably like 2017 or 18 or whatever, right? Quick story, actually. Uh, I'm, I'm, I have my luggage or whatever. I'm at a BART station in California. This isn't this isn't the story about the people following me or whatever. This is unrelated. Uh, I, I, I I'm at I met where I land in San Francisco Airport. I take the BART station to whatever to ride into Oakland, San Leandro, or something like that. And I get off to switch trains somewhere in Oakland, probably West Oakland or somewhere like that. And there's a black couple, young, maybe age. 23 to 25 or whatever you know there's a black couple there nearby the train tracks or whatever and they're like going back and forth arguing with each other some little petty boyfriend girlfriend fight or whatever right the dude is extremely tall most black guys are way taller than me by the way you know full black guys this guy's nba six foot six something like that but a little toothpick skinny nigga right so he's got this girl she's a height i guess you know but whatever. She starts arguing with them. Um, she's wearing the dude's jacket or something like that. And she won't give it back to dude. And dude is asking for his jacket back or whatever. The girl this girl saying some shit like, it's cold, whatever. You're going to have to take it off me. And she's refusing to give him his jacket or whatever. The guy's getting mad and angry and whatever. And uh, he's, he's literally basically threatening the girl. Right? I'm about maybe 15 to 20 feet away from him or whatever. The old me, okay, the old shimmy would have actually...